Okay, so mine is standing up now, and please don't think that I just stopped recording a second ago in the last video and then just picked right back up. I held these together for a good minute or two to get them to stay. Um, something else you can sort of use is like, if I take this clothespin and I clip this on there, that's gonna help hold that in place while I'm adding other parts to it. So I could even like this one that I added glue to earlier, maybe slide that on there, clip that against that. So that's helping hold it while I'm getting my next piece ready. So that can lay down on its side for a minute. But I wanna think about well, when this is standing up, I've got this piece down here. So I think it would look more interesting because this has all those circles on it, some of the texture and stuff. So it's more interesting to look at. So I need to do something to balance it out. Maybe put another one over on this side. So I'm going to add glue to this part. join this one and again this is something where it's going to take a minute or two to get it to stick so when I slide that in place I'm going to do that wiggle trick get it to hold on and if I have enough of these clothes pins nearby then I could always clip another one on here to get it to hold on to that while it has time for the glue to actually stick and dry now since these have been on here while I've been working on that it might be safe to go ahead and remove these because they've kind of done the job of holding that in place I place this up here now that clothespin weighs more than the cardboard so I need to think about that could make it so that it actually tips over so I want to watch that and be careful not to let that happen so now I'm going to start thinking well, I have some other pieces what would look interesting if I start to join another piece on but not only do I want to think well how's it going to look but is it going to help hold everything up it seems like if I put something off to the side here that wants to go against it that should want to stay on there better so i think i'm going to need to have it and i like the idea of it going out this way a little bit more than the other way so i'm going to put glue in the place that i saw it needs it wiggle this into place make sure it's actually touching the ground that it's supposed to stand on so that was up high a little bit before and again if i have another clothespin i can always put that on there to hold it for me if not, then I have to wiggle it into place and do the job of holding on to it myself. Another trick that could work is you could put some pieces of tape on there to hold it while the glue is drying and sticking together. But just remember, the tape's not very attractive, so obviously you're gonna pull that off later. All right, as I work on this, something else I should be doing is turning it around. How does it look from different angles, from different sides? Because it is three-dimensional, so this is meant to be viewed all the way around. So I'm gonna take an opportunity to put on this clothespin to hold that against there while that has time for the glue to dry. And I think as I was turning it around this side, not very interesting. There's nothing on it that makes me want to look over here. It's pretty flat. So this is where I'm going to start thinking about adding my next piece. I like the idea of a piece kind of sticking off here. So if I put glue along this whole side, this whole side would be touching that piece of cardboard and it would be touching the ground that it stands on, so that should help hold it up. I'm gonna do the thing where I wiggle this into place. Now here, there's not really a way to use a clothespin to hold that on. So I've gotta make sure that it's on there pretty well. And I'm gonna leave that for a minute or so before I move on to adding more parts. 